today I'm going to show you another demonstration of Windows 8. This time it's going to be once again on my Windows W500 tablet. Today I'm going to show you how to use Windows 8 without any of the Windows 8 features such as a start screen or Windows 8 RT Metroid apps in full screen. We will run Metroid apps but they won't be in full screen and they won't jar you out of the desktop. The only thing that you will probably see that is Windows 8 features is a login screen. But for the most part, this should be a demonstration of running Windows 8 that looks and feels like Windows 7, but with all the Windows 8 features and code and updated kernel code and whatnot. So we'll sign in. And the first thing you'll notice when we sign in should be the desktop. So here we signed in desktop, and the first other thing you will notice is we've got a start screen in the bottom left corner, start menu in the bottom left corner. We'll right click on computers, go properties, and you do see it is Windows 8, it's running Windows 8 Pro. So, so far successfully we have not had to see the start screen and we can run programs in the Windows 8 start menu. <clears throat> the other challenge, running Metroid or Windows 8 RT devices without actually seeing the start screen at all. So we'll bring up Windows 8 Store. The first thing you notice, it is full screen, but you got the taskbar at the bottom still. And in the top right corner, you got your close minimize and resize so we'll resize it so there you go you get the start the store resized with all the functions of touch Now let's say you want to work with two Metroid apps. We'll bring up the weather. So here's the weather app. As you can see I'm running two Metroid applications, both different sizes, on one screen. So I can see both now. I can scroll through my weather. I can snap them to the side. And now I got two Windows Metroid apps running side by side, taking up half the screen instead of one third and then two thirds, like default Windows 8 does. I can bring up my Skype. Now I got my desktop version of Skype, as well as my two Metroid apps. I could go over here, resize that. And you notice in the bottom on the taskbar, all all Windows 8 store apps and Windows RT device apps still show up in the taskbar, so I can click that. I could click that. I could pull this I could pull this down. I could click the X and it disappears. So I can close Windows 8 apps on the desktop. I could highlight these for now. I'm going to trash them. And the reason why I'm doing this all in touch with my fingers is because somebody at Microsoft said the desktop is a really bad touch experience and fingers can't hit small objects. And I'm doing this to prove everybody wrong. As you can see, I'm able to touch very accurately. folders, files,
to schedule battles? Yes, I can. And I can highlight. Sometimes it'll start the file, as you can see, but... I can highlight extra files. I can open up another one of these. swing this over here and now I'm working with files in the Windows Explorer just with my fingers another thing I wanted to show you before I close my Windows apps I'm going to reload up weather I'm going to load up to store again. So now I got the store. Now, if I bring up my keyboard, go Alt. I can Alt tab them, and they will show up as a desktop application instead of a Windows RT application. So I can actually go to my Windows applications without pulling out the left menu. Let's rotate the screen. Now the web the actual background will probably crash when I rotate the screen, so I'll unlock it. I'll slightly readjust the camera a bit. It's the best I can do. I'll bring up my window store again. I'll bring up my weather app again. A dock at one side. Dock at the other side. So you can dock applications in portrait uh, portrait mode as well. As you can see though, they sorta of overlay each other due to the fact of the size of the screen when it's like this. So you're wondering where I get all my Metroid apps from if I'm not opening up the side screen, the start screen. So on the start menu there's a program um, a folder called modern UI applications and in this will have all your downloaded Windows Store apps. Let's open up Pinball FX. I'm going to increase the sound volume to 40%. I'm going to kill my bird. You're annoying me. I'm going to pause the game for a second. I'm going to go to sound. Go mixer. There we go. And so Windows RT devices still don't show up under sound, so you can't really control them that way. I'll go resume game. No, I screwed that up, but that's okay, it's a ball save.
some odd reason the sound isn't working, I probably killed it in the actual settings. Good job, bird. I'm going to pause it again. I'm going to shrink the game. I'm going to go resume game. So now I'm playing it in a really small window mode. So when you click outside the game, it actually instantly pauses the game. We'll kill the game. So there you go. I'll just recenter that back. Okay. So there you have it. I don't know why it went to the start screen, but there you have it. Demonstration of running Windows 8, just like Windows 7, without ever seeing the start screen. It did pull up the start screen when I re rotated the screen back. I'm not sure why I did that. I might have clicked the might have swiped or something because when I click the button down here yeah that's what I might have done. I can set my windows key to either show the start screen or show the start menu. I got it currently set to showing the start screen still. That's probably what I clicked when I rotated the screen. Anyways I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. And one last thing for all you people that are wondering go start go shut down. There you have it. Didn't have to pull the charm bar out for that either.